Today, we're going to take a look at the Create Simulated project. Create Simulated is essentially a mod that will add a real physics engine that will work alongside Create. What that means for us, the players, is we will actually be able to construct contraptions that can freely move around our world. As an example, you could design an airship with a fully functioning Create Workshop and a storage room that you could actually interact with and your workshop will actually work exactly as intended. For some time now, we have been getting small updates about the project via Discord through the different projects that Create Simulated is associated with, but recently we finally got an update on the actual status of the mod via a new blog post. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. We're going to go through the blog post, I'll explain more about what each project basically is and what it aims to add to the game, and then we'll talk about the status of the project, and then at the end of the video, I actually have an interview with one of the main developers of Create Simulated. You're going to want to stick around for that because we get some really cool insights into how the development journey of Create Simulated has gone so far. The first thing I want to talk about is that while progress has been moving steadily along for the past three years, about six months ago maybe, they did announce that they plan to release in 2023. At this stage, that release date is no longer likely to be hit, and instead of rushing, the dev team decided to take their time and wait for a more polished product to release. An announcement of the release date is not expected to be public until the mods are in a polished and stable state, and I would imagine it would be pretty quick from an announcement to release when that eventually does happen. So the Create Simulated project has a few different add-ons associated with it. That would be aeronautics, liftoff, off-road, steam and rails, and high seas. Now the first and most popular of these is probably Create Aeronautics, because this mod will actually allow us to build airships. It adds a bunch of blocks that will basically make the building of airships relatively easy, that can actually fly around your world and work as a mobile base or battle airship or kind of whatever you can really imagine. Now at the current stage of development, the team is still working on adding some of the features that are planned for the mod, but they're also going back and updating old features to make sure that they kind of work as seamlessly as intended and are very stable for the eventual release of the mod. Progress on this mod seems to be going very, very well, and we've already seen tons of teasers, and I'm definitely excited to see more as we get closer to the eventual release. Now, Create Liftoff is maybe a less well-known add-on, but I think it's going to be completely game-changing when it finally comes out, because Create Liftoff is going to add block-built rocket ships to the game that will actually allow you to fly from the planet you're on to the moon, to space, to other moons, to other planets, and should be really fun to play with and really cool to kind of explore the galaxy in Minecraft. Now, because of the complexity of this mod, the team has really gone back and forth on like the code base and what art style they're going to go with, and they've actually had to rewrite the code four times. But it sounds like they're at a place where it's finally settled and they know the direction where this mod is going. So I think that progress should move steadily along from here, and it's good to hear that we are in a place where the mod is going to actually start getting closer and closer to release. But as this mod is probably the team's most ambitious mod that they're working on, I would expect this to take some time because they're planning a full OST, new music discs, tons of planets and moon with their own unique flora per each place you're going to explore. So I think it'll take some time before we actually see too much more about this mod. And that being said, they actually announced that they're probably not going to show too much of the space exploration because that's what they want you to do. They want you to explore. So they don't want to spoil too much of what you'll find out there among the stars. Create Off-Road is going to basically add wheels and different movement contraptions you can use for building essentially cars or trucks in your Create world. Now this is a little bit more of a simple add-on, and so there isn't too much to talk about here, and the blog doesn't even <laughs> really mention it, other than kind of like an offhanded mention of the list of the mods they're working on, but based on their Discord activity, they have been moving steadily along. As this is a pretty simple mod, I wouldn't expect to see too many more details about it until we get to a point where it might release. Next, we're going to talk about Create High Seas. Apparently, Create High Seas started off as just kind of a little bit of a joke between the developers and the different people on their Discord that there would eventually be like a seafaring add-on and despite it starting off as a joke the team has actually worked on developing a structure of what that mod might look like now it doesn't look like they've actually started to work on the mod so we haven't seen any updates but i would expect as they start to make some updates on adding features that would allow you to build boats and other seafaring vessels easily we would see some more information on this but it's a low priority right now and so i would expect the other mods to probably release before create high seas 
And last, I'm actually going to talk quickly about Create Steam and Rails. Now, Create Steam and Rails isn't actually like under the umbrella of the mods that this team is working on. However, Create Steam and Rails is going to use the Create Simulated project to actually make the train simulated. So you can have moving contraptions on your train. You can have a workshop you can actually interact with on your train. So it'll actually allow us to build train bases and use trains to build kind of crazy contraptions in the future. So really excited to see that. And I'm really interested to see what crazy stuff you will do with Create Steven Rails once it works with Create Simulated. Now we're going to jump into an interview I did with one of the main developers of the Create Simulated project, Ryan. He was nice enough to sit down with me for quite a while and answer a whole bunch of different questions I had and give us a really good idea of the status and how the development has gone of the Create Simulated project. I also just want to give him a huge shout out because he's been nice enough to let me use all the different footage you've seen in this video. None of it was taken by me. I don't have access to the mod yet. It was all done by him and his team and they've let me use it to make this video to kind of give you guys an update of where the Create Simulated and Aeronautics projects are. My first question is, what is your role in the Create Simulated project? Yeah, so um, obviously we have a team of uh, people working on the mod and we have collaborators and contributors, which are also a major part of the development on the mod. I joined the project in uh, very late 2021 and early 2022, originally uh, acting as like a co-developer to Ericsson, who is the original founder of the project. Um, and ever since then, I've sort of been working on the physics engine, the integration with Minecraft, general implementation and community management. So we have a team of, um, of more active developers, and we have a team of people who work with the community. We have a team of moderators, but um, I, I sort of take the helm on some of that along with Ericsson. So when you, when you joined, how big was the team? Was it already pretty formed, or are you kind of just joining up with Ericsson? When I joined, uh, the Discord server for Cree Aeronautics was just intended to go along with the development of the project. There was no formal team. The mod was completely open source. And it was just whoever wanted to contribute to it. But over time, uh, the necessity grew for us to sort of make the development more formal and make the team more formal. So um, me and Ericsson sort of made a lot of decisions together on how we were going to shape the path of the project. And then eventually, as time went on, more and more of our current team members really shined through in their contributions and their prevalence in the project, leading to the current uh, set of people we have now working on the project, which is still expanding. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, what was kind of like the kickoff for the project? Like what idea or what kind of made Ericsson want to start building, create aeronautics and simulate yeah. it and all that? This is a good one. Um, so back in 2021, of course, Create was on 1.16.5. And a big thing that was going around was flying machines with pistons and gantries. And so Ericsson looked at those and me a bit later on as well and thought, wait a minute, you know, um, these are kind of clunky. They're, they're not the best way flying machines could be done in Minecraft. And Ericsson was like, hey, I, I know some physics math, you know, I know how to do this. So why, why don't I make um, a mod to help that? And so when I first talked with Ericsson, uh, sort of when the project was in its infancy stages, there were a lot of unknowns about the final uh, path the mod would take. Uh, he wasn't sure how collisions would work. He wasn't sure how some aspects of the physics would work. And then once that all sort of started fusing together with the development team building over time, we solidified more of those things and we formed a more concrete plan for the mod um, with inspiration from many games, from Scrap Mechanic to Bad Piggies to even Stormworks and many other games and uh, basing it on the foundation of uh, what we interpret Create's design to be. The mod sort of solidified into what it is now. Yeah, so you're really trying to stick with what create is and not kind of deviate too far from that. Yeah, because um, create already has pretty amazing design as a project. It fits its like niche in the Minecraft modding community very well, and due to that, um, it's pretty large. And we're trying to expand that, uh, taking it into the physics contraption scene. So we want people to be able to build stuff on moving contraptions. We want people to be able to build mechanisms with create's kinetic system that fit creates design philosophy with also more interactions happening and more um, more in-depth mechanisms that actually involve moving collections of blocks. Yeah, totally. So tell me more about like the physics engine. So how are you kind of balancing making it feel more like a game, but also making it also feel realistic? 
Yeah. So um, historically, what I love to talk about, like throughout Arrow history, is that we converge to the idea or the sort of balance between physics being a very prevalent gameplay element and it also being easy enough that a player is not limited by physics. So um, back in the earlier days, we discussed with the developers of Create, namely um, Crippers and Danny, a decent amount regarding the design of this, which was that um, we didn't want the physics uh, when you're making contraptions to be so prevalent that it was impossible to make a ship that looked good. But we didn't want, uh, or we wanted the technical capability that players could get creative with their mechanisms. So we wanted people to be able to make stuff like universal joints and like a bunch of physics cogs uh, working together or make their own propellers and stuff like that. But we also wanted them to be able to make like cool bases and floating islands and stuff. So that inspired uh, a few gameplay elements, namely the modern gyroscopic propeller bearing. It was actually made um, as a like as a way for contraptions to be easier to make stuff like floating islands and uh, to make it easier to make contraptions that could be off balance yet still stay in the air. And um, levitite is also a powerful tool for that in the end game. But we really try and strike that balance between technical capability for players to make advanced contraptions using physics and also that you can make a really good looking airship with it still being able to fly. Because both of those values are important to us. Yeah, from a lot of the clips I've seen so far, it really does seem like if you can imagine something, you can make it work, which I think is going to be really fun to play around with. Yeah. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting to me is a lot of the videos and images that you see that we publicize in, um, in our media are just random contraptions that we as a team have built or individual members of the team or contributors have built over time. So for example, for the latest blog post, um, I went through some of our private showcase channels and just picked the images I thought were mo like most relevant for certain sections to put in there. Um, we, we, do, we do love playing with the mod, and that's one way we balance it, is by going through, um, going through building different things and thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe this block is a little too finicky in this area, maybe the propeller bearing should work this way instead of this way, or maybe the air pressure curve for um, hot air balloons or uh, envelope blocks with adjustable burners, maybe we can tweak that different ways. And so it, it's like a, it's sort of a loop of iteration on all of these different concepts, finding that balance between physics and ease, to, as ease of use. Yeah, totally. It's, it's really great to hear that you, you guys also enjoy playing the mod, um, which I think is a very good sign for a development journey. Um, but what, what's your favorite part of the simulated project? I'd say my favorite part of the simulated project is sort of the, cooper the cooperation between all the different mods in the project. So we have like liftoff here taking simulated into space and we have that integrating with like a planned full OST, orbital mechanics and all this stuff. And then we have aeronautics, which is the original mod that started it all for players to make airships, players to make all these things that they can put into their survival worlds and make, it, make their worlds feel more alive. And then that even extends further. Um, there's other mods uh, that plan on using Landlord and Simulated for their own stuff. And so I sort of love seeing this unified vision of our design principles around physics contraptions in Minecraft, uh, solidifying into this one concrete vision that so many people are able to share and say, you know, when I was, when I personally, when I was young, I loved Archimedes chips. I loved Da Vinci's. I loved all of those mods and I'm sort of getting to be a part of like making a version of those that is so much more in depth in the areas that I want them to be more in depth. Yeah. And um, one thing you touched on is how all the different mods in the simulated umbrella are going to work together. One question, and it's okay if you don't have an answer for me, but when the project does officially launch, will we kind of like a slow rollout, like aeronautics first and then lift off and so on and so on, or would it kind of just be like, here's everything at once, go have fun. Yeah, so obviously some mods in the project are much larger than others. Um, Liftoff is an absolutely enormous mod, and um, that means it won't release at the same time as the other projects. So the current plan is that when we are ready for release, when the simulated project is ready for its first rollout, um, Landlord, Tracky, Simulated, and Aeronautics will release in one go. So that's basically the Create Aeronautics that everybody has been waiting for. And then Off-Road is planned to release shortly afterwards, depending on how busy we are, say, fixing bugs and fixing things in the initial release that may be longer and may be shorter. And then uh, mods like Liftoff and High Seas, we are going to leave as a unknown because we ourselves do not know how long they will take after the initial release. 
because they are they are projects that in liftoff's case are much larger and in high seas case are not as planned out as the other projects. Yeah, so I, the blog was the first mention I've ever seen of high seas. Um and there weren't many details. Do you have anything that you'd be willing to share with us about kind of what high seas might be eventually? I can share the general theme, which is um as a team, we've always sort of covered the different bases in terms of content that can be made in physics games. So aeronautics is intended for air travel, hot air balloons, airships, uh, planes, that sort of stuff. Off-road is intended for underground and on-ground transportation. Liftoff is intended to go to space. And then high seas intention is to act as a ocean expansion. So that means more propulsion mechanisms for uh, contraptions in the water, more interesting building blocks and ways to style contraptions in the water, more ways for people to build submarines, for people to balance their boats, and um, possibly some new mechanics regarding wind and waves. But I cannot speak on those yet, as we're still trying to figure out what the best solution would be for that sort of stuff. So um, I know with the announcement that the project is going to be, de be delayed, um, I personally think that sounds like a good move just because I want to play a polished product. Um, but I was wondering if you give us some more insights on the factors that led to the project's delay. Yeah. Um, so I, I touched on this in the beginning section of the blog a bit. But back in 2022, when we released the Landlord Showcase on our YouTube channel, the main thing was we never saw the project, uh, the initial release, taking longer than 2023 to complete. And so that was an optimistic guess that we sort of made. And then we pushed it on our community because it... In the, at least in the beginning half of this year, it was looking very good. But we didn't we didn't expect the availability troubles that some of our team members would have. We didn't expect that some some of the features and some of the performance optimizations and some of the systems in these mods needed rewritten that we didn't know needed rewritten before. So we sort of um, back when we released the um, second to latest progress log, or the um, the arrowversary. Uh, we sort of were thinking, okay, at some point we've got to make a website and we want to bring back this curtain of secrecy and tell our community that this we might have been too optimistic. And we, we were too optimistic. And so this is sort of a, we don't think it's going to happen in 2023, and we could rush for it to happen in 2023. But I think our community would be less happy with us if it comes December and we rush to release the mod and it is buggy and it's not perfect. And it, it it's not it's not in the state that people want it to be when it releases, then if it takes a bit longer and it does come out in the state where we're happy with it. So we're leaving it as a uncertain right now. We don't know when it will release and we're not going to put those expectations on us because that ended up being very pressuring. Having you know 40,000 people have an expected release date or an expected release window that you know ends up not being as feasible as we thought it would be. Yeah, that totally makes sense. So the blog mentions that like the project's philosophy has always been that the mod will be ready when it's ready. Um, can you elaborate at all on how this philosophy has kind of like guided the development of the project and kind of like your decision making as it went on? At least in early Create Aeronautics back in very early 2022, um, we never set any release dates and we would constantly get asked questions like how, how what percentage of the mod is complete or when will the mod release or when is the date? And for us, this really is a passion project. Um, none of us get money out of this. None of us get anything uh, out of working on this project other than our passion for the project and um, seeing the mod that we all want to play come true. So our philosophy was always don't put pressure on us. Uh, don't set a deadline. Uh, don't do stuff like that that could cause us to get pressured and maybe not want to work on the project anymore. And the reality is when you have a passion project like this, um, people's availability changes. So I, I'm less available than I thought it would be this year. And that means I don't have as much time to work on the project. And setting that release date uh, or setting that release window, the community interpreted as a deadline when we intended it to sort of be a window that we hoped the mod would release in, that we were working towards the release of the mod in. It was our aim, not necessarily what we internally viewed as a deadline. But over time, that sort of became more and more of a deadline. And we really wanted to bring it back to that philosophy of it's ready when it's ready. Because the mod is, we're actively working on the mod. And once it is in a state where it would be ready to release, it would be like, it would be released if it was ready to be released. And unfortunately, 
it's not ready to release. There is some more work we have to put into it. There is some more stuff that we have to do for it. And there are some more systems that have to be written and rewritten for it. And so once that's done, once the mod is in a state where we, we do know what that state would look like, we do know we have set criteria for when aeronautics has reached the scope in which we have planned it to reach, then that will be the point in which we will do some final testing. We will do some stuff and then eventually roll it out to the community. Okay, can't wait for that day. It's going to be, it's going to be game changing, I bet. <laughs> so um, with all your time testing the mod, what is probably your like standout moment um, as far as gameplay with a mod? So um, at least from my perspective, I work on the mods a lot. I'm most of the time I'm behind a code editor working on them and I don't really play with them. So I, I've never really built airships much. I've never really built stuff with the mod. So every once in a while as a team, we sort of come together and we set up what we like to call an airport server where a bunch of us get on a creative world when the mod's in a stable, uh, stable state. And then we make an airport, we do a bunch of stuff together. And so those moments are really like, um, they bring us sort of back to earth on like, hey, we've been working on all of this and it's actually, it's actually making a pretty cool mod. Like we can build all these things, we can make these contraptions, we can make these mechanisms and it works due to the work we've put into them. So I remember a few months ago um, when the mod was in that state, we sort of started doing survival and creative servers for a bit. And it felt like, um, it felt like we got somewhere and we did. The mod's very far compared to how it used to be because of all the work we put into it. And it's so cool for me when I get that moment every once in a while and I can join the creative server when I wake up and I can see people flying around, uh, team members in like VTOLs and team members in these massive 200 block long ships. And um, I can get on there sort of build and see my contraptions work using the mod that um, me and the team have worked on for so long. Great. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of all I really needed to know about the project or wanted to know. Um, do you kind of have anything else you wanted to add to the blog post or is kind of anything else you have to say? I just say, um, remember that it's a passion project. Um, because we want the mod to be released just as much, if not more, than our community. We want it to be out there. We want people to be able to play with it. We want all of this stuff. And we're working to make that happen. But that doesn't mean it'll be the fastest. And mm -hmm. we're trying to get it at a good speed. But it, it, it'll be ready when it's ready. <laughs>